Welcome back on the Lobo Coaches Show alongside the head football coach of the University of New Mexico, Bob Davey. I'm your host, Robert Portnoy. And it's time for our Subway Ask the Coach segment every week. We ask Coach Bob Davey a, a question that is submitted by a fan. You can do it at golobos.com. And uh, our question comes from David in Berlin this week. With two weeks to get ready for UNLV, what do you think the QB situation will look like after both Mitchum and Gauchy played at Pitt? Yeah, David, I hope it looks that both of them are healthy and can practice full speed over this first week of the open date. Uh, you know, that's the way it was in camp. We had a lot of great practice opportunities, but neither one of them had a chance to play in the game. Now we're sitting here where Cole played, obviously, against UTSA. Clayton played against UTEP. They both played a little bit yesterday. Now we have a chance to really get better because they both have game experience under their wing this season. So the first thing, we need to have both those players healthy. You know, Cole had some back spasms yesterday. Uh, I think he's going to be okay. Uh, Clayton Mitchum got a little bit overwhelmed by the situation playing in that atmosphere, I think. But this is a big, big two-week stretch for us. Um, the open day comes at a great time. Uh, we get UNLV, we get New Mexico State coming into our stadium. This is a huge week for Lobo football, not, not just the quarterbacks. Thanks a lot to David from Berlin for our question. It's time to get right into our Subway, uh, Subway player of the game. And uh, we have selected Crusoe Gongbe. And here's one of his big highlights. This one set up one of Cole Gauchi's scores. Crusoe busts one for 42 yards. Really proud of Crusoe Gongbe. You know, his story's been well documented. Uh, he left when I first came into the program, decided to transfer. Uh, then he decided in August to come back. So he had no summer camp last year. Uh, his mother has been great through this process. Crusoe has been great. Uh, last year we brought him back. He started at the bottom of the depth chart. He made a name for himself on special teams. He worked hard through the spring. He's been a pleasure to be around. A, a very tough young man, a very mature young man, and he has benefited from this process. You know, I look forward to him playing a lot of football this year and next year, you know, when number five graduates. He is a different type of back the number five Casey Carrier too uh, when he gets to that second level and lowers his head he lowers the boom on those guys you know it's all relative you know I was talking to Bob DeBest last night uh, coming home on the airplane uh, he's a big back for us now compared to the pit backs he may not be a big back but he is our big back at about 205 pounds and I think he fits right into the Mountain West football conference he does he's a strong powerful guy I mean uh, uh, he is a great change up I love the way you guys have mixed in that full stable of backs over the past two weeks. You have Darrell Presley, you have Demarcus Rogers, and we even saw a little bit of the freshman, Terion Gibson. Yeah, Terion Gibson has a chance to be really a good player. He played yesterday as a true freshman. And speaking of the young guys, we saw Ridge Jones getting some action, more action in this week's game than we'd seen in either previous Yeah, year. Ridge Jones, uh, Damian Gamblin. Actually, the reverse that Jarrett Magnet ran was supposed to go to Damian Gamblin. But we couldn't get him in the game. But, yeah, we, we played an awful lot of young players yesterday and we knew that's what this was going to be you know a chance to build for the future play young guys and I think those were invaluable reps those players got and that's why I was so happy they responded so well in the second half of that game. You mentioned another local kid a Rio Rancho kid Jarek Magnus he's had two very good games back to back. 